Hi, my name is Amber Howard, and I wrote the book Fallen, a book of poetry. And um, this was written over the better part of last year. It was a very difficult year for me, so did a lot of writing during that time. So I'll read you a few pieces from it. This next one is called No One to Blame But Me. I don't like what I've become. I am shaken, afraid, stagnant and played surrounded by memories, dashed hopes betrayed, and there is no one to blame but me. I've outdone myself this time, malcontent, not satisfied, or able to say I've even tried, never living my life like tomorrow I could have died, and there is no one to blame but me. They say you reap what you sow. Well, I deserve this pain, the what ifs, the strain, all the hopes and dreams I can never seem to obtain. All the fallacies I have told myself until it has become plain that there is no one to blame but me. This next one is meant to be song lyrics. It's called The Irony. Someday you'll hear those words you've waited for, but they won't be coming from me. You've said you're sorry time and time again till every word has lost its meaning. But I know you'll be fine, and soon this will be nothing, because that is how you operate. No one gets through, so nothing settles in. Nothing can penetrate. Just be on your way, there is nothing left for you here. Nothing but pain and misery, my dear, because you give what you get. Happy to show you that without regret. Now it looks as if you've fallen into the trap you had set. The irony isn't lost on me, it's clear. Why do you persist if you know there's nothing gained, enjoying the thrill of the game? You try to pursue every way that you can, but reality holds the cards of late. So how do you like that? A flick of the switch, the shoes now on the other foot. The angles are clear, never more sure of my fate, and never more sure about you. With promise after promise, lie after lie, my hand on the door, not even a goodbye, a shove to the floor, all or nothing more, a day that you should be thankful for, no tears, just a laugh and a sigh. This one is called My Valmont. I watch him from time to time, and here he is again across the street. He is with yet another beautiful young girl, but there is definitely chemistry, and she has some age behind her eyes. I don't think he noticed me. Of course, most days he doesn't. I'm like a ghost taking note of his behavior, the many women who get to touch him. But this young girl seems different. She may not be discarded so easily. He seems in some kind of emotional pain, I guess I should be happy about that, but I'm not. I have the hardest time making decisions. Maybe I should interrupt, but my presence is useless. He is kissing her passionately now, and I feel like I'm dying inside. I know I shouldn't watch, but I can't turn away. I wish I were her right now, but I'm not. So I do what I do best. I fade away. Until next time.